Today I'm going to show you how to update to the newest firmware on the LG 27G R95QE and it also pertains to the 45 inch model. Everything is going to be done through LG's on-screen control. So on your web browser, go to the 27G R95QE's product page. Remember this also pertains to the 45 inch version. Scroll down into the support section and click on manuals and downloads. Here you can see under software and drivers, download the Windows on-screen control. The current version is 7.95. Depending on when you're watching this video, there may be a newer one, so just download the newest version. As you can see, it's on the computer. Just open the program and install it. The install usually takes about under a minute. After everything is said and done, restart your computer. Right away, you'll be greeted to this new OSD menu. It looks very ultra gearish, if you know what I'm saying, where you can control all the picture presets. And the cool thing is, this is all done through DisplayPort. I don't even have a USB connected yet, but we'll get to that in a bit. So here, I have it through DisplayPort, and I'm able to change all the picture presets from brightness, contrast, and the black stabilizer. You can even turn VRR on or off. You can even change the orientation of the screen windows with the screen split. And if you select the cog icon, you can have this program auto start and auto update. Now remember I said I didn't have the USB cable connected. So if I click on run to see if there's a new monitor update, it stops me and it says to connect a USB cable. That is the only way to actually be able to update your monitor. The computer needs to download the firmware and actually send it to your monitor through that cable to update to the new firmware. Here are the cables that you'll be able to use. Today I'm using a USB A and B connection. So just connect your cable. Let's hit run and see what happens. Right away the update notification pops up. Version 3.08.117. This is the March 31st, 2023 update. It says here, this update includes enhancements and bug fix updates, stating, it fixes a bug that the 4K 120Hz is displayed in some games through DisplayPort. It improves the picture quality for SDR and HDR signals. It improves the font quality for the Japanese language, and it also fixes some monitor bugs. So let's hit run and see how long it takes. Friends, you can see, the bottom clock is stating 3.57 p.m. And when everything is said and done, it's about 6 p.m. So about two hours, I would say. And don't worry if it gets stuck at the 50% mark. It stays at the 50% and 87% for a long time. Don't disconnect your monitor or turn off your PC. Just let it run. It will update itself. You might see some flashes on the monitor. Don't worry about it. When everything is said and done, you will see this picture. The monitor software update has been completed. Please unplug the cable from your monitor and reinsert it again, as it may cause issues if you don't. And if we click back on the settings, you can see the update was completed, and it also shows the enhancements that this firmware brings. So after the update, I would recommend you turn off your computer and turn off your monitor. Disconnect all cables for about 20 minutes. This is something that I personally do to all my monitors, from Aorus to Gigabyte to Samsung, they all recommend it. And I would just do the same thing with the LG. Basically, you're hard resetting your monitor this way. After about 20 minutes, reconnect everything. And also, I would suggest you going to factory reset your monitor's picture, just to make sure there's nothing saved from the previous firmware. You're trying to get a clean slate as much as possible to enjoy this new brightness update. After turning everything on, you should be good to go. And now just readjust your picture to the way you like it. In this specific version of the firmware, I have noticed in SDR and HDR about an 8 to 15 nit difference, depending on the picture preset you're using. But you can check out the playlist, friends, or click on the video right here, as I will be going through my Street Fighter 3 test, testing Gamer 1, Gamer 2, and Vivid Mode to help you make that awesome buying decision. Does this new firmware really increase the brightness? Is there even a noticeable difference? We'll cover all of that on that brightness test video. So friends, I hope this video was simple enough to follow so you can update your awesome OLED monitors. From the 27-inch to the 45-inch version, it is recommended to get all those bug fixes and an increase in that brightness. Even if a little bit, it really goes a long way. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want more information on the whole range of OLED technology from LG to Samsung and among other manufacturers. Thanks for watching friends, stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.